girls welcome back to the steak and brush and today i have the new glam light chocolate factory um yeah chocolate factory box <laughs> so stay tuned if you want to see what i do with that before we get started uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel in whatever corner it is <laughs> and like this video it really helps me gain more followers and don't forget to follow me over on instagram at steak underscore and underscore brush okay so this came out uh, a week week and a half ago probably about a week and a half ago and of course with the you know post office being overloaded as it is i you know finally just got it two days ago and then with me being as lazy as I am it just took me a couple days to get to it so here we are um, let's take a look at what all comes in this all right let's, I can figure out how to do this without knocking everything off okay um, first thing I'm just pulling out everything as it is we've got this this is a set of eyelashes this is the chocolate candy bar eyelashes there. Um, these are nice and uh, pretty as far as the eyelashes go or glam lights eyelashes go pretty natural I, they don't really do natural eyelashes but it's uh, less in your face than the other ones um, and then we have this these are the donut lashes and these are a little more va 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 voom I think they just kill it every time on the packaging these are so cute and then the final pair of lashes are the choco lash pull those out here for you i should say this box was i believe it was 45 dollars but then of course there's always codes everywhere like glam light 15 and stuff and you can get it much cheaper plus they do after pay so you can break it up into four payments which is how I afford anything. This is the one thing, like, for the whole month of December, I was, you know, just saying, I'm not buying anything. I said, I'm not buying anything. I need to focus on my Christmas stuff. And so, uh, you know, I'm not getting anything. And this is the one thing that I came, well, there were two things that I came, but one thing my daughter insisted on, so. Um, okay, the next thing, this is, I, took, I already got rid of the box. It's the S'mores palette. Um, it is a face palette and it has like a contour bronzery kind of thing and some highlights there and we have two lip products we have this is the s'mores uh lip i think i don't know if it's a lipstick or a lip gloss i think it might actually be a lip a liquid lip and then this is definitely a gloss this is hot chocolate it has it, it smells like hot chocolate but it also has a kind of a chemically smell I don't like that about the glam lights I guess I should have smelled this one I did when I originally opened it I just can't remember what it this is a more chemically smell than the hot chocolate but all right and then the final thing is the glen light donut palette and our chocolate donut they have a regular donut this is the chocolate not to be confused um absolutely adorable again killing it with the packaging um the only thing i don't like is this feels like it's going to be one of those squishy things and it's i mean you could squish it but it's it's harder and you know it's not like a an actual squishy toy um, but inside we have a mirror it's a chocolate donut and then we have the how many colors are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten including like the highlighty color in the middle all very brown and chocolatey makes sense <laughs> so let's dig into this and see what we get um, I have my base done and putting my, my eyebrows that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and start let's go in here with this uh bronzery contour 
I don't know really which it is. So let's find out. Um, I'm thinking that this graham cracker highlight is going to be too deep for me. Um, yeah, that looks... That's good. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I could use that as an eyeshadow, but there's no way I could pull that off on my face. But it's nice that they have two options for people. I'm hoping this isn't too deep. Oh, it's not. I just have to kind of blend it out there. This is the first bronzer, you know, I've ever had from Glamline. I've had one highlighter and I, I just didn't like the color. It was like a pinky and that's just not really for me. Oh, but this is okay. It's not my favorite. Um, it, you know, it doesn't compare to like my Hourglass or even my Fenty, but I definitely would wear this. It's like a little tanner than I would like. And I'm, you know, medium light. So if you're any lighter than me, it's probably pretty dark on, it would be pretty dark on you. Still haven't colored my hair. I'm so lazy. It just seems like so much work. <laughs> and I really don't do anything because my daughter does it. I just sit in the chair. The only thing I have to do is rinse it out. We'll say I really, really kind of wanted that uh, the holiday collection they had um, that had the pie palette and the set of brushes. I was so tempted, but I I missed when that first came out. So you know maybe after the holidays, if they restock it, I think it's out of stock. But you know oh I need to do my news. Um, if they restock it, I'll get it. But Right now, I'm okay. But it was super cute. Although now realizing it, it was a holiday, they probably will not restock it, but you know, it's okay. I have tons of makeup. I will live. Alright, um, I'm just going to bring out, it doesn't come with a blush, so I just kind of got a, pulled out a blush somewhere, oh there it is, I just got my old standby here, this is the Milani um, Luminoso, I'm old school today. monitor is working today but it's being a little irritating so <laughs> which is why I keep looking in different mirrors and I do apologize for that okay let's check out one of the highlighters or not one of the I'm going to go into I guess these have names this is chocolate of course this is marshmallow and this is graham cracker so I use chocolate now I'm going to just go into marshmallow that is very sparkly. There is, it does look like some glittery, not too, too, not like chunks of glitter though. nice I mean nothing revolutionary but it's nice so let's get into the star which of course is the palette um, glam light um, I you know I've only tried one others of 
one of their other palettes, which was the Street Taco, but I absolutely loved that. Um, they've got really nice shimmers. I just don't even know where to start here. Oh, so many pretty colors. Okay, I guess I should start by getting out brushes. That would probably be the best. This has, let's see, one, two, it has four mattes and all the rest are shimmers. Oops. Kind of wish there were more, I mean, it's a brown palette, but you know, I kind of wish there was a little more diversity in the shades, especially like when you get into shimmers, when you kind of get into like the goldy shimmers, there's only so much you can do. So let's I'm gonna go into sweet filling up here. <laughs> Again, I'm using my Nabla brushes, which are the ones I have been using lately. Let me decide, do I want to do like my traditional eye shape? Do I want to do a halo? No patchiness so far. Again, I, since I've only used the Glam White formula once before, I can't really speak to, you know, what's normal and what's not yet. But I didn't have any problems with that before. Okay. Let's... Where do we want to go from here? Let's go into double chocolate. Might be a mistake. But we'll see. We'll just Bob Ross it. If it's a mistake, it's a happy little mistake. It'll be a happy little tree on my face. <laughs> I mean, I know it's just a brown palette, but you know, <laughs> it's still really nice. It's nothing new. It's nothing revolutionary, but sometimes you just gotta give it to the packaging. I mean, I know that's why, you know, that's why Glam Light is doing so well because they just have such cute packaging. And, you know, every company's got to have, so, you know, something that sells it. And for Glam Light, it is the packaging. I guess I shouldn't say that. It's what brings people in. And then, hopefully, you know, they have good products and you stick around because of that. And so far, what I've seen of Glam Light, I really like. Mm, yeah, I really like that. It just blends so nicely. Okay, I do think I'm going to do a bit of a halo eye, so okay, I'm going to go into Chocolicious here. I don't 
This kind of reminds me of. This reminds me of the Natasha Denona bronze palette. Kind of like in the same way. I mean, I haven't pulled it out to look at it or anything like that. But like in the same way the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat did, where it probably has you know similar colors. Not necessarily trying to be a dupe, but maybe I'll look at that later. When I'm filming this, it is Christmas Eve Eve. So now I have Christmas songs stuck in my head. Mostly from The Muppet Christmas Carol, which is the greatest Christmas movie ever. Fight me. <laughs> I just love it. Absolutely love The Muppet Christmas Carol. I mean, yes, there are lots of other ones that I like to. Like that one's my favorite. I'm going to go back into Double Chocolate again, just on this side. To deepen it up a little bit. And then just on the very outsides, I'm going to go back into, I'm not back into, but I'm going to go into Eclair here. Just so it's a little deeper. What shimmer do I want to use? So many to choose from. Let's see. Oh, that's really soft. That white chocolate. Super soft. Okay, I wanted to use that white chocolate just because it's super soft. I doubt it's going to show. Like, it just made a dent just be touching it. But... Oh my goodness, that is so pretty, so, so pretty. Wow. I was not expecting that. I mean, it, it's, it, it's a, you know, goldy kind of a, uh, shimmer but oh man glam light knows their shimmers just gonna blend it in the tiniest amount mm, I like that I like that a lot um, I'm going to go back into double chocolate here. Outside, see if I get a true halo eye. And then, oh, where do we want to go? Let's try sweet filling here. Yeah. I definitely like that. 
Okay, um, let's go ahead and I'm just going to put some mascara on. And I don't think you need to see me put the lashes on because it's just putting lashes on. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put the lashes on and then I'll come back and I'll show you what the lashes look like and we'll do lips. Be right back. Okay, I am back and I used the chocolate candy bar lashes. Um, yeah, I just kind of like the way they flared out a little bit and uh, they went on really nicely. So there's that. All right, let's get to lips. I think I'm going to go ahead and try the uh, s'mores. Let's see if this is gloss or liquid lip. <laughs> like a liquid lip. Let's see how it dries down. I'm interested to see if it'll be glossy or matte. it it's definitely a deep chocolatey but I really like that that's just kind of my aesthetic my 90s kind of groove there so feels really nice feels very glossy or maybe it's like a deep deep gloss we'll see in a few minutes um, but let's just kind of go over everything uh, lashes I really like the glam white lashes. I, you know, I've heard some people say they don't like them as much, but you know, for me so far, so good. I've had, this is my, well, now I have five pairs, but this is the third pair I have tried. Um, I really, I've been getting a lot of use out of the, one of the street taco ones and I definitely can see a lot of use out of this one. We'll see how that goes. Um, the, this palette, I don't know how much use I'll get out of it. Um, I mean, just checking to see if it smelled like anything and it doesn't. <laughs> um, you know, I will definitely use this. Um, this I would only use as an eyeshadow. It's just too deep for me. Um, this... I mean, possibly. It's not a bad highlighter. I'm just, I'm not real big into highlights right now. I'm just really not. So we'll just see how that goes. But it's not bad. It's just kind of what my personal preference is right now. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to dry down. This is, so this is a very, either it's a very dark gloss. <laughs> Or it's a very glossy liquid lip. I'm not sure, but I do like it. I'm sure it's probably not the best idea to wear under a mask, which I am going out in a little bit. So, eh. <laughs> oops, bad call on that one, but it has nothing to do with the actual formula. Um, this looks a lot like one of the Street Taco ones I have, which I don't have out right now, so I can't compare it. But, um, you know, I like their, their formula of lip glosses. Um, the palette is very nice. I mean, that white chocolate just still just kind of blows me away. It's nothing revolutionary though. It really isn't, um, but it's very pretty. Um, if these are your kind of colors, um, I think there's just too many shimmers that are too similar. Um, I mean, you know, maybe they could have thrown in a couple, like maybe some I don't know some sparkle colors that you know the the sort of sprinkle colors or something so it's not all browns which I because I don't have a problem with brown palettes it's just I mean let's let's pull out my Natasha Denona if I can find it I had to rearrange my 
palettes recently. Again, this is a 16 pan palette, 15 pan palette, and this is a 10 pan palette. So it's gonna, you know, look a little different, but I don't know. There are a lot of the same shades in there. <laughs> um, and of course this one is, you know, $65. This one, I have no idea how much this sells for individually, or even if you can buy it individually, but I bought it in a whole box of $45. And then, of course, there is the Wet n' Wild. Wet n' Wild has more mattes. The Natasha Denona has more shimmers. But same kind of color story, and this one was 10 Again, I don't know if this one's still available, though. And it smells like coffee. Mm. Mm. But, so, I guess here's what I'm saying. Do you need this? Absolutely not. If you don't have, if you like the colors and you don't have like a brown bronzy palette, this is good to get. I would highly recommend this. I just don't think you need it <laughs> if you already have you know, a brown palette is a brown a brown or bronzy palette is very easy to get lots of people have them I'm trying to think of that more when I buy makeup you know not just is it a pretty palette because yes it's absolutely a gorgeous palette but I don't need it because I have something so similar I want to focus more on buying things that I just don't have but um, yeah but that's where this one ended up <laughs> so good palette don't necessarily need it um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today I really appreciate it um, let me know what you think of the glam light products if you have tried any um, let me know what you've been your favorite so far uh, so that I can pick it up next time uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with me today I'll see you next time bye bye